Making it to the top of the game is the dream for any rapper, but just cause you make it there doesn't mean you'll stay. Most rappers fall off cause they stop dropping hot music, but sometimes there's more going on behind the scenes. Today, we're breaking down six of the biggest rappers who got blackballed in the industry. Youngboy Never Broke Again is one of the hottest rappers in the game and has a loyal fan base, but that hasn't kept him from speaking out about being blackballed by his label and the rest of the industry. Back in January, Youngboy was still on house arrest in Utah on the federal weapons case, and even though he was locked down, Youngboy kept up the grind while he was fighting the case and dropped his Colors mixtape. The project was popping off. Then, out of nowhere, it was reportedly pulled from the Apple Music chart. Youngboy hopped on social media to air the situation out. He wrote, Why blackball me? I'm the good guy. I was going number one two weeks straight with a mixtape, so they took it down off the charts. I don't give a f You still can't stop me. Don't sign to Atlantic if you an artist they're not going to support especially if you live a certain way. Youngboy finished out his contract with Atlantic, but he still thinks the industry is against him. After DJ Khaled featured Lil Durk on his new album instead of Youngboy, Youngboy hopped on IG and wrote, I'm suffering with the minutes. Shit sad. I'm good. What I truly want is coming to me. It might be a little minute, but it's coming. I always got what I wanted. No matter if I had to pray for it or steal it, I got it. Youngboy and Durk have been beefing ever since Youngboy's homie Quando Rondo was involved in the death of King Von back in 2020. They're two of the hottest rappers in the game right now, but other artists are having to pick sides, and Khaled obviously went with Dirk. But even if some people in the industry aren't rocking with Youngboy over the Dirk situation, he still has a massive fan base that'll keep his career pushing through any beat. Youngboy isn't the only rapper in the game who's had issues with Atlantic Records. Back in February, Meek Mill hopped on Twitter and aired out his entire situation with the label. According to him, Atlantic kept him from managing Roddy Rich, wouldn't let him drop music, and even pulled him from festivals. Meek broke down exactly how Atlantic was doing him dirty and said, If I didn't have millions, I'd probably do something crazy. They all smart and young black kids taking advantage and calling it business. Other artists speak up and tell the truth while you win it, not when you down. Meek says he made hundreds of millions for the label over the years, but he only saw around 11 mil of that. Luckily, it seems like he's been smart with his money, so the label issues didn't make him go broke. Back in July, Meek announced that he was leaving Rock Nation Management, who he's been signed with for a decade. Fans thought he might be having issues over there too, but Meek said, it's all love. He tweeted, I'm personally handling my own business so I can take risk and grow. We came to that agreement together. In another tweet, he said, and Rock Nation is my family. Don't mix my post and that Atlantic mixed up with Rock or MMG. Dez, Mike, and Ho saved my life before and put a lot of energy into it. I'm not behind on my favorites in life with my people. I'm good. It sounds like new rappers in the game should think twice about signing with Atlantic. Hopefully they'll listen to dudes like Meek and Youngboy so they don't get taken advantage of or blackballed. 6 9 lost a lot of fans after he flipped on his gang for a lighter sentence. When he got out of prison and started dropping music again, his numbers weren't popping off like they used to. But 6 9 says it's because the industry is blackballing them. After he dropped his album Tattletales back in 2020, 6 9 hopped on social media to air the situation out. He showed that none of the major streaming apps were pushing his music at all. And he captioned the post with, When the industry knows that you are a monster and you can't be stopped, they make sure they do everything in their power to make you lose. I dropped an album today and they have completely blacklisted it so no one can see it. 6 9 brought up being blackballed again back in April. He went back to calling himself the king of New York and 5 year Forum wasn't feeling it and said, 5 billboards in Times Square, top 5 songs in NY on Apple at once, and articles in both Daily News and New York Times. Don't ever let that nigga say he the king of this city. 6 9 responded on his Insta story and wrote, It's never about numbers until they do better. And it's crazy because I'm doing that blackball. They have all the help and more radio, editorial, playlisting. And that 5 year foreign, suck my d with your mother's lips. I put names on it, no subliminals. 6 9 has always been beefing for publicity, but apparently it's not working for him like it used to. A lot of rappers are complaining about being blackballed right now, but Russ hopped on IG and wrote, Unless they cut off your Wi Fi, remove your social media accounts, and take your music off all the streaming platforms, you are not blackballed. If you are famous and can tell your fans, hey, I'm putting out music, then you're not blackballed. Fans will listen to your music or they won't. It's that simple. Russ wasn't calling out 6ix9ine directly, but the message definitely applies. If you're as famous as him and your streaming numbers are falling off, it's really on you to go out and get your fans listening again. Tory Lane shocked the hip hop world back in 2020 when news broke that he allegedly shot Megan Thee Stallion. His streaming numbers took a massive hit after the story came out, and for the last two years, he's been accusing the industry of blackballing his career. 
back in March, Tory was fed up with the situation and said, as an independent artist and as a black business, I actively still make the platform's money with my music. So it should not be right for any platform to censor and silence me from the editorial playlists or homepages of these platforms that help to give eyeballs to young artists. I'll stay cool for the last two projects, but this is just not fair. But in August, Lanes announced he was turning his music into NFTs and someone on Twitter called him out. They said, let's be real. This NFT isn't going to go high up in value, so this seems like a get rich quick thing for you since you is blackballed. Tory clapped back, but also said he's not actually blackballed. He tweeted, I'm not blackballed from anything. To put this in perspective for you, my last NFT has 700 copies. It sold for $700 and quickly sold out. By the time the week was over, it was reselling for $34,000. Whether he's actually being blackballed or not doesn't really matter right now though. According to Lanes, he's facing 24 years in a shooting case and the trial starts soon. So streaming numbers should be the last thing on his mind right now. A couple years ago, the baby was one of the hottest rappers in the game. He started popping off in 2019 and had two albums debut at number one on the Billboard charts. But after going off on the homophobic rant at Rolling Loud last year, he started losing fans and got pulled from shows. You didn't show up today with HIV, AIDS, any of them deadly sexual transmitted diseases that'll make you die in two, three weeks, put a cell phone lighting up. Now, the baby and other artists think he's getting blackballed in the industry. The Baby made headlines in September when the news broke that a show in New Orleans was canceled by promoters after he only sold 500 tickets for a venue that holds 14,000 people. He got clowned like crazy on social media for the news. But the Baby's team put out a statement that said the show was canceled due to the promoter being in breach of contract. Then a few weeks later, the Baby dropped his latest album, Baby on Baby 2. The first Baby on Baby record sold over 100k the first week and debuted at number 1, but the sequel allegedly moved less than 20k units. Meek Mill thought the sales were suspicious, and he tweeted, They blatantly blackball on the baby. Not my business, but I'm an observer. Then the baby reacted to a sales projection about the album on IG and wrote, Not bad for the blackball baby. The baby and Meek Mill think the industry's trying to take his career down, but fans online say he just fell off and people aren't rocking with him anymore. If he hops on some tracks with artists who are popping right now, he might get his momentum back up, but his reputation for violence and drama might lose him some connections. Lupe Fiasco was one of the hottest artists in the industry in the late 2000s and early 2010s. But after he called Obama out in 2011, he says he became the most blackballed rapper in the game. In June 2011, Lupe went on a CBS show called What's Trending and said, My fight against terrorism, to me, the biggest terrorist is Obama and the United States of America. I'm trying to fight the terrorism that's actually causing the other forms of terrorism. You know, the root cause of terrorism is the stuff the US government allows to happen. After the show aired, Lupe says the backlash was immediate. He says he got pulled from shows, lost out on brand deals, and record labels wouldn't let their artists work with him because of all the drama. In 2019, someone on Twitter asked Lupe why he didn't win a Grammy, and Lupe told him, that's like getting mad at McDonald's for not having Whoppers. I'm the most blackballed rapper in the history of rap. Lupe also aired out Atlantic Records for trying to take advantage of him back in the day. He wrote, I didn't sing it, I'm not ignorant at all. I started my first business in 19. Plus, the music business, at least what I went through at Atlantic, wasn't a business. It was damn near a mob cartel. Real grimy gangster shit. I had money, so I didn't really care. Lupe's had a wild career with a lot of ups and downs, but he seems to be back on the come up again. He dropped his new album Drill Music and Zion back in June, which had both critics and fans rocking with it. Hopefully, he keeps grinding, but it's definitely not easy to rack up a few million streams if you're blackballed.